Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to discuss about another very important functionality or feature within Jira service management, which is forms and how you are going to leverage and the power of forms in your Jira service management projects. So here I am in the Jira service management project, RCV IT service management, and let's go to the project settings. Now in the project settings, we are going sequentially around the project settings. So we have understood about all of the details, people, features, summary issue type and request types now after that you will see the section or the option for forms so let's see what exactly is forms now as the name itself suggests that forms in Jira service management is a basically a sort of a you can correlate it with a physical form wherein you have certain fields to fill in the information and submit it right so if you go to any organization or any government organization you have these paper forms right Right now, because of the service availability online, Jira service management provides the whole ITSM capability and the service management capability for IT and all other departments. So they have this forms feature as well, wherein you can create a particular form, customize it as per the particular need and requirement and then ask your customers or the end users who want to get the service to fill the information using those forms and submit it. And that request, submitted request, will come to the service management and agents will be able to, your, your team agents will be able to fulfill those requests. So there are a lot of templates out of the box already provided. So you don't have to create each and every field within the form in Jira. There are out of the box templates, which I'll cover already. So if you go to forms, if you click on forms, usually this is where you will land up. And then from here, you can go ahead and create form. Okay, so I'll simply click on create because there are no form so this is the screen that you will get and if I click on create form it will take you to the create form screen and then at the top you will see three options or three tabs here build preview and settings so basically build is where you will be building your forms okay now when we say build your forms you can build the form from scratch by adding the fields that you see here for example I want I am creating a form to capture the personal details or the details details of a uh, parent details of a student that studies in my college say for example okay so I'll create the fields for example first name you know uh, long text or short text basically first name last name have these two fields in there address for the long text right and then I can have different you know select drop down multi select drop down for the cities etc any URL paragraph etc so there you'll see a lot of fields are available there already which you can utilize to create the forms okay now if you do not want to create it from scratch you will be able to you know find a lot of templates if you see in the right hand side here let me a little bit so you'll see the templates right so you have all you know 300 plus templates already available for different areas for example a Asset management or the attend summit summit or you know bug reporting and triage business strategy so a lot of templates already provided which you can directly straight away click on one of it and the form will be auto populated okay so here I can simply go ahead and let's say save this form as RCV Academy something like that okay and I can go ahead with the template or I can create a form myself as of now I'm not going to create it myself I'll cover a separate video on how you can create the form or customize it if you need to create a form from scratch. You can also go ahead and add a section, right, which is again creating the form yourself, which we won't be doing as of now. Okay, so let me remove that. Now, let's go ahead and quickly have the template, right? So I'll go ahead and let's see some form that I want to. Let's say, for example, we are looking for change management, right? Okay, so let's create a form or take a template for the change request. So if I click on change request, you will see that it will open the template, right? What exactly the fields are in this particular form. You'll see that it's a text field change requested, describe the need that is changed, who is the change owner, who is the change manager, etc. These are the drop downs that will be available in your form and then select SOP. So basically any of the details that you need to check or have on your change process will be part of this standard template, right? Now imagine if you have to create this whole template or whole form one by one. So you have to add a field, then another field, then another drop down field, and then have 
or create or design this form yourself. But because the template is available, I can simply go ahead and click on insert template and that form will get inserted here. Okay, so this template get inserted here. And now I can also go ahead and say, for example, I don't need this particular field, right? I don't need approvers field. So I can go ahead and delete it, right? So for example, let's say, I don't want this particular field. Okay, so I'll simply select this and press the delete button and that expenditure, I'll delete expenditure as well. Okay, so you'll see that those fields have been removed. All right, I can remove this whole section. Okay, and then save the changes. So now this is the form that we have created within Jira service management. Okay, so you'll see form saved successfully. Now let's go to the preview okay so if you go to the preview you will see this is how the form is going to look like okay so because we have customized we have removed some of the fields you will see that only these fields are now available and we have removed some of the sections now if we go to the settings right this is important so i'll be covering you know a complete full series on forms because forms is a very lengthy topic and it will be good to have a complete separate series on forms for Jira service management. So here in the settings, you will see that it is the name of the form RCV Academy user form and then you have locations and request type, right? So important thing to remember here is to see what settings are available and what exactly they mean and then form submission, right? So here you will see if you scroll down, you have the different location, right? So I have a location, which is basically a request form, a create a new issue and recommend in issue. There are three options, right? So what the first option is all about customers. If, if I select this request form, right? So it's a toggle button. So it will look like something this. So if you toggle it, customers will find out this form when they raise a new request from the portal. From where? From the customer portal. So we have to choose the request type, right? So if you select the request type here, say for example, I want to have this form in the SR. Okay, so what this will do is if say for example, there are some fields already we have added in the service request, which is this particular request SR. Okay, on top of that, on top of that, the fields that are available in the form will be also visible here. Okay, this is what request form will do, do in this particular case. So whatever form we have created and added in the request type, those fields will be available to be populated in that request type. Now the second option is create a new issue. Okay, so if I check this, right, and I'll say, okay, create a new issue for this request type. Okay, so you have to service request RCV online, and then we will get a link to create this particular issue or create new issue using this link where in the service request RCV online. Okay. And then the third one is recommend in an issue, which is show at the top of the list of available forms when adding a form to an existing issue. Okay. So if you check this, you again have to select a request where this particular form will be shown at the top of the list of available forms. Okay. Now in the right hand side form submission, when this form is submitted, what should happen? Log the form so that only project admins can reopen or create and attach a PDF of the form to the issue, right? So I can also check this and what this option will do. It will, it will create a PDF of the form submission that will be done and it will attach to a particular issue. Okay. And if you want to log the form, whenever, say, for example, submission has happened, the form gets logged. So only project admins can reopen it, right? So then it will get logged and unless project admin reopens the form, the user won't be able to edit anything. Okay. I'll disable this. Now issue creation is the another option which we need to look into the settings. So issue creation when an issue is created using this form, what should happen? So keep form open so that anyone can edit and submit it after the issue is created. Okay. So if you check this, then the form will still remain open and the person who has submitted can still edit it and submit it after the issue has already created. And then you can also say ignore field validation and allow the issue to be created. If you enable this, then any validation that will be there for a particular field in the form will be ignored. Okay. So these are some of the settings and in the language settings, you can also choose the language settings as per the user's setting. Okay. So once you are done with these settings, the next option is to save it, right? So now to save it, 
you simply have to click on save okay so save changes click on save changes and the form will be saved so you'll see form has been saved successfully now request form from a new request portal right so let's see how all these options will look like so if i go to the customer portal okay and select the request type sr i should be able to see the fields that i that i have created in this form if you go to the preview these fields should be available in the request sr okay so let's quickly go ahead and see that let me go to settings and then i'll walk you through as well let me duplicate it so i'll select the rcv it service management product project and from here where we'll go we'll go to the so there is the portal url i'll simply copy it and then open the portal so now here if i go to the service request right so if i go to service request and select this sr okay now i should be getting the initial details which were part of this service request and then you will see this form is part of use case click here to learn more and these are the details that are coming from the form right the form that we just created and assigned to this service request okay now if we go back to this here so now this option is basically this is how it will look for a particular service request if you enable form for that the form values will be available for that particular service request okay now if say for example you only want the form details so make sure you don't add any of the service request details so for example just have a summary in the service request and then rest all detail are coming from the form the second option is create a new issue using this link right so if you open this link okay and when i open this particular link you will see that it will open this view so you have to from here you have to select a project where it will create an issue so service management then request type wherever you have enabled this so i have enabled this form in service request rcv online if you see here right and then what user form this is the form that I have enabled okay so now when i select this form you will see that this user form is available here minimize it okay and then let's say i'll say test change okay let me quickly fill it i'll select the service owner change manager change type standard and the reason okay and then simply go ahead and say create okay so i'll say create and this will create an issue and this issue will be available in the backend for the agent to work on it right so this is how end user has created and now from you using that rcv academy user form the issue has been created you will see this is the issue rcism-4 has been created and you see rcv academy class has raised and you will see the description has came in test change and then urgency etc if you see this form whatever form details we have submitted you will see test change test change the other details are available in here standard upgrade etc and are part of the form that or the issue that has been created using that particular form if i just simply open this detailed view of this issue you will see below the form section right all the details that have been submitted in the form are available here now your agent your team agent okay will be able to basically fulfill this request right so they can now start working on it say for example if they have replaced the printer or added a printer they can then start you know say say for example currently it is in to do then they can say yeah i have already started working so they'll say okay in progress it has started right and then they'll put the comments that comments will be visible and then once this has been you know completed then they can move it to complete okay so for example here i can say uh, as an agent i'm behaving like an agent now so i'll say uh, this is in progress and should be resolved soon okay so i'll save it and this is because i have selected reply to customer this will be visible to the customer on where on in the portal right so if i go and see on the portal it will be available so this was the one that was created okay and then this is if i open the summary i should be as a customer i should be able to see the response that the agent has provided this is in progress and should be resolved soon right so you'll see automatic response is also there when the agent has changed the status to in progress that has been logged here when it has when they have commented that yeah this is in progress then you can basically you know as a customer you can also respond and save and then that will be visible to the agent as well so this is how the end user 
uh, or the customer will communicate with the agent and agent will communicate to the end user or the customer right so this is the second option and then the third one is recommended in an issue so i'll cover uh, all the details about these forms customizing it in a complete separate series for this video this video is already very long so i'll stop here and in the next detail series of form i'll cover all of these different options and what all you can do with the forms so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching